Ryan Vertucci, 7943, says there is a massive crash in rental rates that has accelerated since August. Inventory and days on market for single family and multifamily rentals are extremely high. The rental crash is very real. It is happening as we speak, and it is nationwide. People are waiting to sell until interest rates go down, and they're trying to cash flow until then. The demand is not there. Mike, have you experienced this with rental rates coming down and it taking longer and longer to get properties rented? So um, I have no idea what this guy's talking about. Again, like we talked about earlier, I think there's two markets for rentals. I think there's the multifamily stuff, like let's call it uh, 20 units and above. And then there's single family homes and single family homes. There's no problems. Rents are still going up. Demand is there. In fact, the sad reality is as prices and rates go up, I have more demand for homes. It's just because people can't buy and they'd rather live in a home than an apartment. So I don't know what they're talking about. I've seen no degradation in single family homes. Zip, zero. I talk to people across the country and with a rare exception, flats like the, the, the worst I hear. That said... There are some real pain in multifamily, especially in the hot markets where there's a lot of inventory coming. And this goes back to my point about commercial real estate. I've talked about it for a year being a huge problem. You know, cap rates went too low, stupid assumptions, uh, stupid expense and rent and all these things that I've highlighted. And it's coming to fruition. So, yeah, there is real pain. There are there are there are people given one, two months uh, free rent you know, half off deposits, all that kind of stuff, but very much market specific and very, very much multifamily specific. So I don't know what this guy's talking about. If he, if there is data out there talking about single family, it hasn't come across my radar. Mm -hmm. So what I typically go to is called the single family rental index. It's done by CoreLogic. It's a report that they put out monthly that shows how much or or how negative rent rate increases for single family homes are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this the most recent graph that we have data for, which is November. I'm going to put that on my Instagram, which is Millennial Mike, uh, and I'll do a little analysis of it, and and we can link it back to Zuber's channel, who'll probably repost it. And it shows that the Crash Bros are right. For 17 months in a row, the rate at which rates are rents are increasing has declined. 17 months in a row, rental rate increases is declining. But what they fail to talk about is that during the pandemic, we had an unhealthy, uncharacteristically high growth in rental rates where it was going up eight, nine percent. And so it spiked way up and has been coming down for the last 17 months. But the normal range at which rents increase is two percent. So all it's done is fall back to two percent. It has not. Well, I, 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 I want to say that a different way. We have had 17 months of declining rental rates that are still positive. How right. is that a crash? Right. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> what the hell? I'll post that graph on my Instagram so people can look at it if they want to. Millennial Mike on Instagram. 